Good afternoon and welcome to Holy Trinity Ch Episcopal Church in Juneau, Alaska. This is our noonday prayers for Friday the 20th. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, o Lord make, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. A portion of the Psalter for today is Psalm 102. Let us recite it by half verse. Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come before you. Hide not your face from me in the day of my trouble. Incline your ear to me when I call, make haste to answer me. For my days drift away like smoke, and my bones are as burning coals. My heart is smitten like grass and withered, so that I forget to eat my bread. Because of the voice of my groaning, I am but skin and bones. I have become like a vulture in the wilderness, like an owl on my thorns. I lie awake and groan. I am like a sparrow, lonely on the husk top. My enemies revile me all day long, and those who scorn me take an oath against me. For I have eaten ashes for bread, and wingled my drink with weeping. Because of your indignation and wrath, you have lifted me up and thrown me away. My days pass away like a shadow, and I wither with them like grass. But you, O Lord, endure forever, and your name from age to age. You will arise and have compassion on Zion, for it is time to have mercy upon her. Indeed, and the appointed time has come. For your servants love her very rubble, and are moved, moved to pity for her death. The nations shall fear your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. For the Lord will build up Zion, and his glory will appear. He will look with favor on the prayers of the homeless. He will not despise their plea. Let this be written for a future generation, so that the people and unborn may praise the Lord. For the Lord looked down from his holy place on, on high. From the heavens he beheld the earth, that he might hear the groans of the captive, and set free those condemned to die, that, that they may declare in Zion the name of the Lord, and to praise Excuse me. That they may declare in Zion the name of the Lord, and praise his person. When the people are gathered together, and the kingdoms also serve the Lord. He has brought down my strength before my time. He has shortened the number of my days. And I said, O oh my God, do not take me away in the midst of my days. For years endure throughout all generations. In the beginning, O Lord, you laid the foundations of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They shall perish, but you will endure. They shall wear out like a garment. That's clothing you have changed them, and they, they shall be changed. But you are always the same, and your ears will never attain. The children of your servants shall continue, and our offspring stand fast. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The scripture reading is taken from the epistle of James. Be patient 
therefore, beloved, until the coming of the Lord. The farmer waits for the precious crop from the earth, being patient with it until it receives the early and the late rains. You also must be patient. Strengthen your hearts, for the coming of the Lord is near. Beloved, do not grumble against one another, so that you may not be judged. See, the judge is standing at the door. As an example of suffering and patience, beloved, take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. Indeed, we call blessed those who showed endurance. You have heard of the endurance of Job, and you have seen the purpose of the Lord, how the Lord is compassionate and merciful. Above all, my beloved, do not swear, either by heaven or by earth or by any other oath, but let your yes be yes and your no be no, so that you may not fall under condemnation. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks, Thanks be, to God. be to God. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as in the heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. O God of grace and mercy, give your blessing to the Diocese of Alaska. Watch over our churches, sustain our people, strengthen our leaders. Through the Holy Spirit, guide and guard the diocese, keeping it always under your care and protection. Let us be a loving family, serving you in faithful devotion to the gospel of your Son, Jesus Christ. Give your blessings to Mark, our bishop. Give him a spirit of courage and right judgment, a spirit of knowledge and love. Let your Holy Spirit be his companion. Let your gospel be always in his thoughts. May your presence be in his life be a light for all to see in every good work for the building up of your people and to the glory of your name. Give us the blessing of your example. Help us to follow in the way of Jesus today and every day. Give us compassion at the center, center of all that we do. Compassion for ourselves as disciples still young in faith compassion for other members of our own family and God. Let us become examples for others as so many others have been examples to us through your love and for the sake of your glory. Watch over all elders and the brothers and sisters of the Society of St. Simeon and St. Anna. If any are in a time of sorrow, sickness, or need, Give them the touch of your healing hand. If any are in times of joy, thanksgiving, or fulfillment, give them the song of angels to praise your name. Let us be your servants in this life, just as we will be your sons and daughters in the life to come. Almighty God, who sitteth in the throne of judging right, we humbly beseech thee to bless the courts of justice and the magistrates in all this land and give unto them the spirit of wisdom and understanding that they may discern the truth and impartially administer the law in the fear of thee alone. Through him who shall come to be our judge, thy son, our savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. I invite your individual and personal intercessions and prayers.
that. Amen. Prayer for Edmund of East Anglia, King and Martyr. Merciful God, who gave grace and fortitude to Edmund to die nobly for your name, bestow on us, your servants, the shield of faith with which we can withstand the assaults of our ancient enemies. Through Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A colic for Transgender Day of Remembrance. Gracious and loving God, you made all of humankind in your image and redeemed us through Jesus Christ, your Son. On this International Transgender Day of Remembrance, we remember those who were killed because of their all-encompassing humanity. Help us to overcome our anger and our fear of those whose lives move beyond our binary definitions. Draw us closer to the mystery and complexity of your infinite create, creativity and creation. Teach us to look upon all of God's children with love and compassion, that we may all live in safety and in peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. May God's love be the love that surrounds us today. May God's peace be the peace that we share on our way. May God's grace be the grace that our actions display. May God's truth be the truth in the words that we say. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. May Christ our Savior give us peace. Amen. Amen.